So, go ahead. Okay. So we're recording now? We're good? Oh, oh no. <laughs> I thought you had a question, my bad. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. So oh, no. this is going to go live somewhere or it's just a recording then people can watch it? Well, it is. It's technically live. Um, okay. We had a couple of people sign up, but a lot of people don't make it to the actual recordings. So okay. we have them available as a video afterwards. Perfect. But we have this option if they can make it. Okay. Um, but as soon as I make you the host, you'll be in charge. So you just end the meeting whenever you're done and it's your game. All right. I'm in. Sort of just like a video of you that, that'll be on our website. Okay, cool. And we are recording. I'm making you the host now and have a great time. Thanks. Okay. All right. Are we good? Hello, everybody. I'm Jody Hoffman, and I am so excited to be here tonight at Oil Life. I'm actually not at Oil Life. I'm at home, but I'm pretending I'm in Oil Life because that's the best place to be. So we're so excited to talk to you tonight about make and take. So I have a PowerPoint because otherwise, you know, I'll be all over the place. So let's just look at these slides to keep me on track, shall we? All right, here it goes. So tonight we are going to be talking about make and takes. We're going to talk about why, when, and how to do a make and take, and also what you're probably doing wrong. Don't get offended. I did it wrong too. So I'll start by introducing myself. Um, my name is Jody Hoffman, and I am a doTERRA diamond, and I also created um, Oil My Goodness, which is um, our company that does make and take labels and classes about how to do make and takes and things like that. So um, my background is in adult education. And also, um, in addition to that, I uh, spent a couple of years in a different multi-level marketing company where they were in the party plan. So when you're in the party plan, there's a lot more focus on, on having fun and um, hostesses and things like that. And when I came to doTERRA, I realized that there was a place for all the fun and party kind of thing that happens in a party plan and also the seriousness of the product that we have and how much good we can do in the world. So. So I really realized that that combined with my expertise in adult education and how the how adult brains work, that we could really come up with something fun and different. All right. So when I started to build my oil business, I taught classes the way I saw everyone else teaching them. And they were long and there were lots of science words. And I found that I was really struggling. We were successful, but I was um, I wasn't really having any fun. And so when when I realized one day, hey, I could really do this like me, um, everything changed for us. And so now what I really love to do is just help people see how there's a place here for everyone. Like everyone okay however you want to do it you can do it there's great resources out there and you can just put your own frosting on it and decide how you want it to be so i'm really excited to talk to you tonight about um how we do how we do these make and takes but first we're going to just do a little bit on the adult brain and how it works because i have sort of a sciencey nerd brain going on and i just have to get it out first all right so here's the deal the adult brain is like a filing cabinet, okay? So when you get a new piece of information, it, um, it tries to go into the file. It tries to find the right file to stick in there. So, um, so for example, if, someone's, if you've never heard of oils before and someone starts talking about lavender essential oil, your brain's gonna try to stick that information to something it already has. So it'll be like, okay, lavender, that's a color, it's a flower. Nope, it doesn't go there, right? Or it'll say, okay, oil, I know what oil, there's oil fields, there's oil in my car. Nope, not that, right? And it tries to find a place for it. Well, here's what happens. If it can't find a place, then it goes into this separate folder that's called overwhelmed and confused, and everything that goes in there, the answer to everything in there is no. And so that's why we have so many people who say no to essential oils before they even start, okay? Because they're so overwhelmed and they can't attach it to anything else. So once we have this piece of information, it can change the way we're doing things a little bit. Okay, the other thing you need to know about the adult brain is that your brain is so overwhelmed and so busy, it can actually identify things that you don't have time for and it won't even show them to you. Okay, let me give you an example. Have you ever been in a vendor event and you have everything set up like this is all set up like this, right? And people are walking and they don't even look at you, right? They just walk right by. Do you know why? Because if your vendor event is set up like this, it's so much information that the adult brain just says, I don't have time to figure all of that out. And it keeps going, right? It's going to go to something easy like purses 
So in also things to keep in mind, when we open our whole box of oils, we have every single oil. We love that, right? We love that. I love to see how many oils can fit in one box. But when we go to a class and we take out this huge box of oils, what other people think is, oh my gosh, I don't have time to figure that out, right? Just as a side note, I know it's not what we're talking about today, but when you post on social media, if your post is so long that people have to click see more to keep reading, their brains will just scroll right past. They wouldn't even start reading it because the adult brain is really good at deciding what you have time for and what you don't. So if you don't make essential oils super easy, right? super easy, super accessible, and attached to something that they understand, then there's no way for it to get into the brain. So we did a little bit of market research. I call it market research. My husband calls it stalking people, but I like to like run after people who ignore me at vendor events or call people who don't want to talk about essential oils and ask them questions. Um, so this is the best one, the best piece that came out from our market research for you guys about make and take today. We asked hundreds of people, how do you learn best? And overwhelmingly, they said, I have to do something in order to understand. I have to do something, okay? So that's also going to be really, really important information as we move into talking about make and takes, because of course, that's going to get people doing things right away. Okay, so let's talk about why make and takes don't work, all right? Because they don't, and I'm sure you've heard that before. Oh, make and takes don't work. They don't work right? Because what's our goal in a class? The goal is to enroll, right? We want people to get empowered and have things in their home, right? But at a make and take, what happens in usually what happens is they come, right? They make 10 bottles for $5 a bottle. They say, great, thanks so much. I'm going to Maybe they stay for your class, maybe they don't. And then they say, I'm going to try these and see how it goes. I'll get back to you. And then do they get back to you? No, no they do not get back to you, right? They don't, okay? So this is a great strategy if what you want is to make $5 a bottle. That's not what I'm here for, all right? I'm not here to help people buy a rollerball. I am here to help people learn how to take care of themselves and get educated and empowered with essential oils. So we do it a little bit differently, okay? They will work when you do it this way because it's based on the adult brain educational science and research, and hundreds and hundreds of enrollments that we've gotten using this method. So instead, you're gonna use the make and take, instead of as the main event, you're gonna use the make and take as a way to introduce the idea of essential oils, okay? What you wanna do, your goal is not sell $5 bottles, right? Your goal is to make relationships, empower your customers, and get them enrolled with their own accounts, right? And this is how we did it. We did it wrong so many times. I can't even tell you how many times we did it wrong, okay? And then we figured out that this was exactly how it was gonna work. So here's why adults need make and takes. A lot of people right now are feeling overwhelmed by the idea of essential oils, right? You probably meet these people every day. They tell you they don't have time to come to a class. They don't have time to sit down with you. They don't, they don't, you know, they don't know what their questions are. They're not interested, whatever, okay? These are people whose brains have already decided for them that they don't have enough time to figure it out, okay? So if you can get these people to come to a class, hooray for you, but chances are they're coming in like this girl. She's overwhelmed, she's skeptical, she has a closed mind, she's perhaps been dragged here against her will, okay? Now you can look at the um, body language here, your arms are crossed. You're often going to see that happening as people come in and they think you are about to induct them into some sort of hippie cult, okay? Now, if I invited you right? You to come to a make and take. You would walk in like this girl in the orange. You'd be excited. You're ready to learn. You have an open mind. You're definitely smelling things. Okay. You're ready to go. Your arms are open. So when we, when we talk about a make and take, the purpose of the make and take is to disarm them. Okay. So literally you can't make a rollerball with your arms crossed. Okay. And the act of uncrossing your arms to create the rollerball is going to open the mind as well. It's totally connected. So when people walk in and they think, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm scared. I'm overwhelmed. Look at that huge box of oils. What in the world? I can't do oils, right? Something needs to happen to get them out of their head. And this is exactly what it is. So they're gonna do oils before they even go to the class, all right? For some people, this even is the sample, they, right there in that moment. Um, so I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. But they 
um, the basis is on this educational principle of collaborative learning or doing it yourself or hands-on, okay? So if I had a bunch of first graders and I wanted to teach them how gears work, let's just say, all right, I could give them a lecture about gears. I could give them handouts about gears, but what would be the very best way for them to learn? I push all their desks together, sit them down like this and dump a bunch of gears on the table and let them figure it out, right? They're gonna ask the questions that are important to them and the exact same thing is going to happen when you do this with adults, okay? They're going to come up with their own questions. And here is a really fun fact. Remember that filing cabinet that we talked about a minute ago? As it turns out, the very best way to create a new file folder, so a new place to store information in the adult brain, is for that adult to ask you a question. So your job during the make and take is to shush. You just shut your mouth, okay? I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. So the most important thing is your setup. So we love to use these make and take sets. Now I will say that you, you don't need to have a fancy make and take set. It just makes it so much easier, okay? But you can order these sets right from Oil Life and they come with 10 recipe cards. So the cards have recipes and they also tell you how to use them. Um, and the re so there's 10 different recipes on there and they also come with these 10 sheets of oil proof, waterproof labels. Okay, now the labels are formatted to fit on a 10 milliliter bottle, but we have lots of people who have figured out how to trim them or whatever and stick them on a five mil. So if you love five mils, then you can do it that way too. All right, now here's how you're gonna set it up. When people walk in, this is what they're gonna look at. Now this is our hormonal mess set, okay? We love this set. This is an awesome set for women of all ages. They love this, they laugh, and they have a great time doing this. Um, so they're gonna come in and you're gonna have this already set up, okay? So I love to tell people that the first five people to arrive get an extra door prize entry, right? You can give away door prize entries till the cows come home. No one cares, right? Keep doing that. And then you could have an awesome, cute prize from Oil Life to give away. So we love to give away the little keychains, right? Or a little oil pouch, depending on what you're into, okay? So you have some things there and you tell the first five people to arrive that they get an extra door prize entry. That's gonna make sure that your class starts on time. So. People start to arrive usually to our classes about five minutes early, which is awesome. And I literally do this. No snacks, no drinks, nothing like that. They walk in the door, the make and take is set up, and I say, hi, I'm Jody. nice to meet you. Come do the make and take. That's it, just right like that. Because right away, what do I want them to do? Uncross their arms and get into the oils, okay? So I set it up just like this. I have all these recipes out, and then I have one each of the rollers made up with the label on it sitting right there with the oils they're gonna need, okay? Then what I say is, and just as your gift for being here, you get to make one of these rollers. Just pick whichever one you want, okay? Now you'll notice I cut the stickers up. Do you see? I have them in little piles like that. It just makes it easier for people to understand they're just gonna make one, right? You don't wanna give them the whole sheet. So we put out um, just like this. So that first one is, the, is a skin roller. And so the, that one is made up so they can open it, they can smell it, they can try it out. All the oils they need are right there, the stickers they need are right there, and the recipes are right there on the cards in front of them. So I tell them, come on over, here's the make and take. We have six, we usually put out six to eight. You can put all 10 if you want. We have six different choices for you today and I just want you to read the descriptions and smell the rollers and decide which one you want and then I'll show you how to make it. And that's it, so easy. They can totally do it all by themselves. But here's what's really fun. Do you know what's happening then in this five or 10 minutes where they're hanging out at your make and take table? They're smelling all the things, right? They are playing with all the things. They are learning that in this case, right here, they're learning that they can use oils for their skin and they can use oils to sleep and they can use oils for adult time, right? Like all the different things are all right here. So right, it's opening their mind, it's getting them excited. And the smelling of all the things is so important for calming them down and opening up their mind, okay? So this is a great way to get them introduced. So they come in, they make a roller, and then they're gonna head into the other room where your actual class is gonna be. So this whole process takes about 10 minutes and that's it, okay? We don't put chairs at the make and take table. If there's like a kitchen bar, that's even better. We don't put chairs, we don't want people sitting there. They're just supposed to come check it out, make a roller and move on, okay? That's how we handle this. So you can do this with sugar scrubs, you can do it with, um, with little lotions or whatever, but what I want you to really remember in this moment is to not be like overly talkative, 
The best thing that you can do in this moment during the make and take is shush. Okay, let them ask you questions. The more they're talking, the better chance there is that this is gonna be an enrollment for you at the end of the night. So you just answer the questions and then shush again and let them keep playing and asking you questions. They'll ask questions and it'll be great and you just go with it, okay? Um, so if you, and like, if someone's like, oh, this is really gonna help me with the hot, you know, when I feel hot, you can say, yeah, actually peppermint's really good to cool you down. If you start talking about where peppermint is sourced from and you're talking about healing hands and you're like off on all these, like, forget it. Too much information, yup. Peppermint cools you down. That's all they need right now. Remember, if you overwhelm them, everything goes into that confused folder and then they're out the door, okay? Um, all right, so now, by the time your class starts, they've already done oils, they've created something, they've smelled everything, and they're ready to go. They know exactly what to do with that roller and how they're gonna use it moving forward, okay? So they get to make this roller for free. So we highly recommend that you just let them do the one because honestly, you don't want them spending money on this. You want them to use that money on a kit, right? Okay, so then we move on to our class. So I'm not gonna go into the whole class right now, but use whatever class you love, but just keep it really, really brief. Remember that the adult brain can listen for about 30 minutes and then it's out. Nothing else goes in. Okay, so get it down to the 30 minute thing and remember that them asking questions is gonna be way more important. This is not the encyclopedia of essential oils class, right? It's intro to oils. It's just a little bit of information so that they understand, okay? My goal at a class is always that people leave not knowing, oh, this is exactly the protocol that I need to do, right? That's, what, that's not what they need to do. know at the end of my presentation. At the end of my presentation, they need to know, I need an oil and that girl knows what oil it is. That's all, okay? Because then at the end of my classes, I'm gonna sit down with them one-on-one -on -one and we're gonna figure out exactly what they need. But all I need to do during the presentation part is just make sure they know they need to stay and talk to me, okay? I need an oil, that girl knows which one. That's all, okay? All right, so you're gonna teach your class. And then at the end of your class, you're gonna close. And I know there's lots of people out there that are like, I don't wanna talk about money. Okay, but it's really important to do that. You have to close. So at the end of our class, I just do a super simple close and I say, all right, there's three ways to purchase essential oils. The first one's really dumb, right? And I say, if you like to pay 25% more than everybody else, you can buy retail, but that would be dumb, right? Or you can become a wholesale customer, right? And we talk about VIP status and how they get to come to our special group and get all kinds of education from us um, and resources and 25% of everything else, right? And we talk about how it's like a Costco card for oils, right? So they don't, so they know that it's not like they're signing their life away or they have all kinds of obligations. And then we say, or the best way, the smartest way to get essential oils is with a package, okay? So we go through all those different things and then we tell them them this at the very end when we're done talking we say if you decide that tonight is the night to open your wholesale customer account notice I don't usually use the words like join in and enroll because it scares people away if you decide that tonight's the night to start your wholesale customer account I would like to invite you to make the rest of those rollerballs for free okay so then they're gonna purchase their kit all right and then they're gonna go back to your make and take station and make all the other rollerballs Okay, so this is gonna be a really great way to get people to, um, to make that commitment in that evening. Now we know most people who say no eventually come back and they say yes, right? So when someone says no, it means not yet. But wouldn't it be easier to just close it right there, right? Wouldn't it be easier if they left already having ordered their things and then, oh, by the way, walked out of your class with something super cute that they wanted to show all their friends? Yes? Okay, so that's what we love to do. So they're gonna walk out of my class. They're gonna have their kit ordered already. They're going to um, know exactly when it's coming and they're gonna have their meeting set up with me so I can teach them exactly how to use it. And they're also gonna have six or eight or 10 really cute roller balls with really cute stickers on them that they're not gonna be able to help themselves from sharing with their friends, right? So now next time they're out, they're, someone's gonna say, oh my gosh, I'm feeling so warm. And they're gonna say, oh, I have this roller in my purse. Um, let me just, or in my well life wallet, right? Let me just pull it out and you can try it. And now all of a sudden you've got your customers sharing before their kits even arrive, okay? So 
When we use this method, we're able to enroll 90 to 95% of the people at our classes. And the other thing is that we usually use uh, rollerball recipes that are not using oils that are in the kits. Um, and that's on purpose because then when their rollerballs are empty, you're ready to have a conversation about LRP and how they need to be ordering to refill their own bottles in that way. So that is, oh, exactly 20 minutes. Look at that. So um, I'm not sure if, um, how, how questions work right here, but I would love to answer all of your questions. I'm sure that there'll be a way to contact me on there, or you can find us on our, um, on our website as well. So um, we're just really glad that we got to be here with you tonight, and I am so glad to get to talk about um, rollerballs with you. And of course, we're ever so grateful to Oil Life for carrying these rollerball make and take sets for us, and also for all the fun stuff that they've got. So thank you so much, and we'll see you soon. Bye!